Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 11 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. If you guys haven't checked out the previous parts, make sure you guys do. Links will be in the description. Also down there will be a link to my Discord server. So for any questions or suggestions, you guys could post them over there. I would be more than happy to try to answer them. Alright guys, so uh, as per uh, one of your requests, I am going to be making a system for the player to be able to ready up. So it's actually really simple. So the main challenge which comes with doing something like this is somehow without being in a session, you want to be able to communi uh, communicate across your lobby members. But fortunately for us, since we are using Steam lobbies, we can do it through the lobby chat. So I'll just show you guys, this is just a workaround for it. Of course, if you do have any better ways, I would be more than happy to see the way you have done it. So I'll be setting up the readying up system. If you guys use the same functions and add some UI to it, you could make an entirely function, uh, functioning chat system as well. If you guys do want a chat system, do let me know in the comment section or on my Discord server. I will uh, try to make that as well. So grab in Steam matchmaking and over here, so let's search for chat. So assign on lobby chat message. This is what we want. So what we'll basically do is without the player knowing, we'll be sending a lobby chat message in a specific format so that we recognize it as whether the player is ready or not. So on lobby chat message. All right, uh, let's just uh, rename that. Now the next thing that you want to do is actually check for whether or not the message is actually a ready up message. So we can do a simple switch over here. So switch, oops context sensitive is off, switch on steam chat entry type. Now the only thing that we care about is chat message. So we are going to drag off of the chat message and there's another function called uh, get lobby chat entry so we want that first of all and the lobby id is going to go in the input over here and the chat id is going to go in the input as well and once you're done with that now we have access to the message now let's just add in a comment here and let's say we want to put in a symbol as hash dollar percent and if we do have this, it is going to be an internal message which should not be displayed in the chat box. Now you could have any of your own combination of symbols. I just chose these because these are not commonly typed together like this. So there's a very rare chance that something like this would happen. And uh, let me add in another comment and let's type in hash dollar percent r is for ready and similarly if I add in another comment NR is going to be not ready or let's not add in uh, an R over there because we will be using a string function to check if R exists and if we add NR so N and R would exist so that would be a problem. So this is going to be not ready. All right, by default, everything is going to be not ready and I will get to how to do that as well. All right, the way you do that is on lobby enter, we want to send a chat message. So that, that is how we will be doing that. So just copy that over or actually, I think I just did a point this step over there. So on lobby enter, this is where we need to set it up. So just make a little bit of space here and we want to send a chat message, send chat message, I guess, send lobby chat message and the target is going to be steam matchmaking again. So let's just uh, copy this over and the lobby ID is going to be the same lobby ID here and for the message, we are going to type in our not ready message. So when we enter the lobby, we don't want to be ready. All right. 
so this is the message that we are going to be typing okay guys now head back into on lobby chat message over here and in the message we want to check if it contains so if the string contains so we don't want to use case and if it contains these three symbols these three combination of symbols and if it does contain them we know that it is an internal message and this is not something that has to be displayed in chat now if you actually want a working chat system on false as well you would do a, uh, a certain number of things so maybe you could use this string and maybe print it out on a widget or something so that's actually pretty simple uh, once you have this we want to first of all check if we are the lobby owner because all the lobby data is actually in the lobby owner so the way we'll actually handle it is on the lobby owner we'll actually set some lobby data i'll get to what that is basically every steam lobby can contain certain data there is a limit to how long that can be though but that's not really an issue for us so we could have it in a certain format maybe json i don't know but if we are the owner we can set it so through this chat we can notify the owner that we have to set some lobby data so now that we have this we can get owner can get the lobby owner so get lobby owner and target is going to be matchmaking and if we do get the lobby owner we want to check if our own steam id is equal to the lobby owner so only if we are the lobby owner we'll actually be doing anything so so the operator isn't really defined yet so what we can do is we can get it as a string all right and we can check if that is equal to our own steam id so get user get steam user and we can get our steam id get steam id and we can do the same thing here again and if this is in fact equal it means that we are the lobby owner so let's just add this in between so now the logic we have is when we receive a message we switch and check if it's a chat message if it is a chat message we get the message itself using the chat id as well as the lobby id and then we check if our uh, special string whatever we had is in the message is contained in the message and if it is there in the message we check if we are actually the owner and if we are the owner we can in theory use this team id which is the user who sent the message so if we have access to the user who sent the message what we can do with that is we can set him to be ready now we want the message and we also want to check if it contains r so get the message we want to check if it contains r so if it contains r what that would mean is that the player wants to ready up so then we can use this steam id and we can set him to be ready all right guys so just to make this a little more practical so i thought i'll change it up a bit so instead of r let's have it as ready and this one as not ready because we will also have another string to show when to refresh as well because when we receive the chat message we also want to be able to check on the non owner side where when we want to refresh so when the lobby data is changed on the lobby owner we want the other non lobby owners as well to refresh so let's add in that command as well refresh is for refresh of course there are better ways to handle commands but anyways so we can create a macro actually so we can call this one chat message type maybe and over here on the output side we want to have three execution pins as of now and the first execution pin is going to be called ready not ready and refresh all right and let's just add a message and let's add in one more called none can't add none 
so just add in nothing move this one to the top so what we want from here is we want the string input as well as an execution pin and this one is just going to be exec so that the text doesn't appear I think it's called execute yeah and from here we can do the same if check that we did over here so we can drag all of this code over here and cut it and paste it inside the chat message type or actually I think we can take in this if check as well so grab everything over here shift select everything cut and paste that in over here so we'll need to take the string as an input here and for the lobby owner again we'll need steam matchmaking I think I did not take that so let's just get steam matchmaking over here get steam matchmaking and the steam ID lobby as well take that in as an input now for search in we want to drag that in over here as well and we can handle our outputs from here so now that we have this so let's recheck our logic here so we are going to check for the special characters that we had and if it is there we will check if we are actually the lobby owner and if we are not the lobby owner let's actually check that a bit later so we'll do this check a bit later move this over here and first thing we want to do is check if it's actually a refresh message because if it is a refresh message we actually want to refresh even on the non-owner side so copy that paste that in and if it does contain the string and if it doesn't it's just going to be a regular old message so let me grab the output here and this one is just going to go in message so if it doesn't contain the string it's going to be a normal message right let's just uh, keep that tidy now if it does contain we want to check if it is a refresh message so if it is a refresh message so we are going to search it in the same string so if it is a refresh message what we can do is we can drag off of this and drag it into refresh and now let's say that it is not a refresh message then we want to check if it's actually a lobby owner so now if it is not a refresh message so it means that it's either a ready or a not ready message and if it is not a refresh message one more thing is once we check for the owner and we are not in fact the owner this one is going to go into nothing so we don't want to really do anything and if it is true if we are in fact the lobby owner and it does contain R or we should rather say ready if it does contain ready so we want to drag this into ready otherwise we can do another if check and if it does contain not ready not ready what we can do is we can again search for it now there is a small issue here let's actually rename this as not instead of not ready the reason we are doing it is simply because not ready also has ready so I just realized a fundamental flaw over there so we can call this one not and we can drag in this macro over here and for the steam ID lobby we are going to get it from here and the message is going to go in search in now in order to actually add the readying functionality so we will be needing a small plugin because we'll be storing the data as JSON so we'll need varest or however you pronounce this 
so just install it to your engine or if you are using the source build like me what you would have to do is head into this directory here copy over the plugin and get it inside your fps course plugins directory and you can go ahead and restart your editor all right guys so the video is getting very lengthy so i will split this into two parts and in the next part we'll be finishing off with the ready system hope you guys don't mind enjoy